Hello, I'm Yvonne Barron and I'm a violin teacher at Doncaster Music Service. I'd like to share with you today the third in a series of short tutorials focusing on the Grade 1 ABRSM violin exam pieces for 2020 to 2023. And the piece I would like to look at today is A2 in the exam booklet and it's a Welsh traditional tune called the New Harp. Now, looking at the piece of music, I can see that I've got four lines. I've got two different sections. The first two lines are repeated and the last two lines are also repeated. Although in the exam, we don't need to repeat those at all. I can also see that I've got four beats in a bar, four crotchet beats in every bar. And I've got an F sharp at the start of every line. So I know that the piece is in the key of G major. So before we start to play our notes in the piece, why don't we play our G major scale together? Because that's really going to help with where our fingers are going to sit in the piece. Now in a G major scale, this is the longest one in grade one that we have, we're going to play across all four strings. What we need to remember is that on the A string and the E string, our second fingers need to sit as close to the first ones as we can make them. And that applies to this piece as well. So wherever you see a C natural or a G natural in this piece, pop those two fingers really close together. OK, so we're starting with the down bow on our G string. <laughs> So there's your scale of G. Now I recommend that you practice that before you start to play A2 when you're practicing at home because it's really going to help you. So looking at the piece of music then, we're going to actually start playing in bar three because the piano plays in the first two bars. Now in bar three, our first bar of our music that we're going to play, we're starting with a first finger on the A string and we're playing almost a little bit of a G major scale, really. It's a bit like three blind mice, isn't it there? So we've got quavers there and crotchets. So if I play that bar again, now the tricky bit in that bar, I think, is going to get from your A string to your third finger on the D string to that G. So it would be a good idea to practice A, G, A, G. And if you stand your third finger up high enough, if you've got a good posture on your wrist, then there's no reason why you can't leave that third finger on while you cross over those strings. This next bar onto that, so that's bar four, has this rhythm. It's a slur. And again, watching that you're playing a C natural there and not a C sharp. So the first two bars together sound like this. Watch what happens in the next two bars. Did you spot that the next two bars are actually just the same as the first two, but played a tone higher? They start a note higher. Watch also in bar five, at the end of that bar, there's a fourth finger marked in your music. Now, you might find that a little bit awkward to play, but it is actually easier than crossing onto your E string. So work really hard at, at practicing that. In bar seven and eight, you've actually got the same tune that you had at the beginning. So because we can play it at the beginning, we can also play it there. And the last two bars on that line sound like this.
And for that quaver rhythm, this rhythm, I count one and two, three and four, and that helps me with my counting there. So I'll just say again, we don't have to repeat the first two lines in the exam. We only have to play it straight through. So we move now on to line three. Now, line three here, we've, the first three bars are exactly the same. It is just like coming down from a G major scale, sounding like this. And the next bar carries on that scale. Notice at the end of that bar, there's a minim, there's a two beat count, and the two notes prior to that are also slurred. The last line of the piece starts with two slurred crotchets. The following bar is the same, two slurred crotchets followed by a minim. And then the last two bars, again, it's a little bit like coming down a G major scale. So I'll play the last line for you. Why don't we play it all the way through now from the very beginning? But let's watch out for our dynamics. The first two lines are going to be quieter than the last two because they're marked MF, moderately loud. And the last two lines are played forte, they're marked with an F. So let's give it a try and see how we get on. We're not going to go too fast, even though it says lively. For practice purposes for now, we're going to keep it quite steady. So I'll count you in after four. I would start with your bow in the middle because it's easier to play quavers in the middle of your bow than it is down at the heel. So bow in the middle, after four, one, two, three, four. Well, I hope you enjoy playing along with me and I'll see you again soon for some more.